So today we're going to do a video on 3D printing, what types of 3D printers there are, what types of slicer software there is, and what type of 3D modeling software to use as well. Let's get into it. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So we're going to start with the FDM because it's pretty much the standard at the moment. So right here on uh, Sunlu's website, I pulled up the Sunlu T3 3D printer, which is their newest version. It's pretty darn nice from what I've read. So let's start up at the top left. We've got this arm right here that comes off of the entire frame. And that is to hold your spool of filament. And then that is going to feed right down into this, which is the hot end, and that is the portion that has two fans, one for cooling the actual hot end, which that one is right here. And then there's another fan on the other side, and that one blows right onto the model that you are printing out. And that is on rails right here which those are your X rails, or are they the Y rails? I can't remember which is X and which is Y. So I believe that's actually Y. Y is left and right, and then X is controlled here on the hot plate, or the heated bed, whichever you want to call it. Right down here on the bottom right, you've got your control panel and monitor. You only get one push button, for selecting, you don't get much option there, sadly. Most of these ones that don't have touch screens, but trust me, you don't really need it. For the most part, most of them you're going to be able to control. Let's see if we can get this bigger. Ah, uh, god, whatever. So, <laughs> almost all of them you're going to have a micro SD card slot for printing. Um, I actually, honestly, never really used the micro sd up until recently i went two years without doing it at all uh, what i did was i connected a usb to my computer and i just printed directly off the computer but it's kind of a pain because honestly your computer is tied up printing if you do too much on your printer while it's printing via usb <clears throat> it it can kind of lag so if you want to go and play a video game or anything it can kind of mess up your print because the print head will usually, if you're playing something kind of crazy, it'll make the head stop or slow down or stutter, and that will not give you good results at all. Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. But that's going to go layer by layer, making lines all over the print bed wherever you need it until you have a gigantic print of whatever, or a small print, and uh, or mini prints. Well, there's a few ways. You can either do one large print, you can do one small one, you can do multiple, you can put like 60, 70 different models or the same thing even if you're doing production style stuff all onto one bed. Uh, you can also get extra beds, like the extra glass pieces that you pull directly off. That way you can take one sheet off after you do a print, put another one on there and just keep going. Down at the bottom, of the bed you have four dials and those level your bed for you uh, it's kind of tricky to get used to it but it's it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it and that pretty much wraps up fdm 3d printing and then next up we have the resin printers resin printers are phenomenal at detail uh, i just got one about four months back and i absolutely love it it has been a blast to print with. Super easy, pretty darn quick, uh, and very, very detailed. Uh, I, I definitely feel like it's a way easier option. Uh, this is not the one that I have, sadly, but I figure it's a good one to show. So instead of having an X, Y, and a Z, all you have is a Z. So all this arm does is it comes down and it goes into this, which this is the vat, and that holds your resin liquid, which in here, there is actually a projector that only projects in UV light, 
and that UV light makes a very small layer right here on the build plate that's up above upside down and then it will pull back up well it'll it'll pull back up <laughs> and then it'll go back down again it'll do another layer and then it'll do another layer and another and another and another and another and another and another and uh, my models usually have at least a thousand layers versus on uh something like this you would probably have like maybe two or three hundred they are extremely detailed prints it's pretty crazy the main programs that i use the main one that i use is blender blender is i, I want to say that it's easy to use it is not it is extremely complex but with that, this is a free program that you can literally do absolutely anything you can possibly think of. Uh, I am not going to go into a tutorial on how to do stuff, though. Then there is also FreeCAD, which is also one of my other favorites, not going to lie. It's got a lot of features. I don't know everything about it, but it is also 100% free. So I definitely suggest that you give FreeCAD a shot and also blender there are many 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 more that you guys can get but i just don't know anything about them <laughs> uh, there's also tinkercad if you don't have access to a decent computer tinkercad is definitely a great idea that one is run fully off of a website and it it, it is impressive for what it is now slicing software i pretty much only use cura which is made by a company called ultimaker uh, they make some very high-end 3D printers. But uh, you don't have to have an Ultimaker 3D printer to use it. It's pretty much the industry standard now. Cura is just top of the line. There's issues, but there's issues with every single program out there. Uh, they also have uh, the ability to back up your stuff and, and get access to all kinds of different uh, programs and scripts that other people have made. And if you have a resin printer, the only one that I have used so far for slicing for my resin printer is Chitu Box, which I'm hoping I will try Lychee, which let's see if I can find Lychee Slicer. All right, Lychee Slicer definitely looks about the same, and they have a fr free or a pro version, which Cheetu Box also has that. There's a lot of options in there. I have not really dived all that deep into resin printing yet, so I can't really speak too much about it. But hopefully pretty soon I'll be able to give you guys a little more information. Yeah, if you guys are curious about a cheap but great quality 3D printer, this one's right around 200 bucks. It's the Sunlu T3 3D printer. Uh, it has some really neat features into it that a lot... Actually, I've never even seen this one before. The Intelligent Clog Detection Module. Very, very innovative. Uh, clogging happens, and this printer is supposed to help with that. But yeah, if you go to this website, you find anything that you want. 3D printer, uh, if you want some of the parts like a main board or nozzle thermistor, stepper drivers, any of that stuff resin for your resin printer just go ahead and add it to your cart and then the coupon code add this coupon code w3nqogculd and you will receive i believe it is 10 percent off of absolutely anything you buy which let's see code is not valid it's not valid for that 3d printer apparently that is a first for me let's see if it works with the regular 3d printers that they have 
because I know the S8 and S8 Plus are uh, pretty darn nice printers as well. There we go. Oh, S9 Plus. Well, that one's a little bit more money, but... Eh, we're worth it. Let's try. Oh. Oh. Man, their website is a little confusing sometimes. I agree. View cart. All right, let's try it again. W3NQOGCULD. And look at that. It went from $413.99 to $372. That is not bad. You can see with this code, it saved $41.39. So definitely go ahead and use my code right there. I would appreciate it. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video.